What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we took on Wake Forest and ended up winning 31 to 6. Now the score doesn't really reflect what really happened in the game. You look at the box score we put up a lot of points in the fourth quarter but it was a turnover battle. Wake Forest ended up having several interceptions that we was able to take advantage of. Otherwise, it was a pretty close game, but I'm happy to get the victory. We're still undefeated. We're still number one in the country. And today we're taking a trip to Clemson to take on the Tigers. Now they're four and four. They're having an average year, a whole lot better season than what they had last year. But we have a clear advantage in roster in terms of talent. And you look at their stance, offensively, they're doing okay in the passing game, but that's kind of it, really. Now, it's their defense that seems to be pretty solid across the board, stopping the run and the pass and such, but their turnover differential is pretty bad, so hopefully we can take advantage of that. This will be the last time I will mention recruiting until we head into the offseason. We are done with in-season recruiting. We picked up the three guys that we went after all season long tackle Sergey Long, free safety David Roberts, and guard Robert Madison. A good nucleus, a good foundation to the upcoming recruiting class because we don't have many spots to fill. It's no different than last season. We got about 10 or so spots, and that just depends if anybody wants to leave early or leave for a different reason. But we already have pretty much a fourth of our recruiting class done by picking up these three guys. There are several things to look at in Sports Illustrated, pretty much from this week going forward, that reflects us. We're having a good season, so we're going to see some different things with our name on it. Let's start off with bowl rankings. Of course, we're number one in the country here. Then you got Tennessee and Florida State. Now, the big game, if we can get there undefeated, is to take on Florida State in the conference championship game in terms of making it to the national championship game. But there's a lot going on here. You know, Tennessee's right there, the Michigan and USC. Michigan may be left out just because of whoever wins the ACC and I guess whoever plays Tennessee uh, or if Tennessee can make it to the title game. But either way, a loaded front right here in terms of several good teams. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Now, let's go to the Heisman watch. I'm assuming Horton is still there, but he's going down the list. Looks like a wide receiver out of Oklahoma is moving up there. Malcolm Kelly. We're doing our best we, that I can with Horton, but I'm not trying to force stats on him. There's a very good chance that he will not be winning the Heisman Trophy this year, which is fine. I mean, it's not like it'd be a cool goal to have, but it looks like a couple of these Texas Tech guys are really doing a number uh, compared to everybody else. But as long as Horton has an amazing season, which he is, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Let's go to award semifinalists. We should have a few names on here. We'll start off with the Maxwell Award. There is Horton in fourth place. That's a good spot to start. Then you got the McNeric Award. This is the top defensive player. I don't think we'll have anybody on here. I can't think of one defensive player that's like just dominating across the board, game in and game out. Quarterback Gates will not be on here. We just don't throw enough touchdowns. Uh, Walker, there's Horton. I hope that he can win this award at least. The guy behind him is LaMarcus Coker out of Tennessee. He's got over 1,000 yards and 12 touchdowns. An extra four touchdowns if you count the receiving uh, side of things. But Horton already has 18 touchdowns with an extra tacked on through the air. So I think Horton is a good spot right here to win this award. We just got to continue playing. Hopefully he stays healthy. Wide receiver, we're not going to have anybody on this list. We got two or three guys that kind of share the load there, which I'm perfectly fine with. Tight end, we're just not throwing it to our tight ends enough. That's just the way the offense is kind of set up. It's not by design per se. It's just whoever is the open man is going to get the ball. And unfortunately, the tight ends just aren't touching the ball a whole lot. Especially our backup tight end or true freshman. I kind of wish I could get him involved more. It just hasn't worked out. I hope he doesn't want to transfer after this year. Offensive lineman, I don't think we're going to have anybody on here. You need to run the ball an absolute ton because the biggest stat here is usually your pancake stat along with any sacks allowed. And we don't have anybody on here that comes close to that. Remington, I don't think we would have anybody on here. That's your top center. Lombardi Award, I don't think there would be anybody on here. Then you got the Linebacker Award, McCoy maybe. Now look at Tennessee, Rico McCoy. Then you got Ryan Carl. Both of those guys played pretty well back in the day at Tennessee. Uh, the Thorpe Award, uh, we got too many guys sharing interception duties there, so it doesn't shock me that I don't see anybody on that list. Then you got the Groza Award. 
uh, okay, it, this kind of makes sense. We are uh, we got a lot of extra points, and he's kicking several field goals, so that makes sense that he's on the list. Uh, the punter award, uh, no, we don't punt enough. Return, we don't have one guy that's getting a bunch of touchdowns off returns. And then coach of the year, I'd like to think we'd be on there, and yes, we are. I think we'll gradually move up this list the more we win. So going forward, when it comes to the award semifinalists, we'll just check out probably the awards that are affecting us, which is just a handful of them. All right, let's go to the conference standings. And this is quite important. We can check out our division. We have pretty much locked this thing up as long as we win one more conference game. We can lose one more and still win out, which will tie with Virginia, but we'll still end up winning because we got the tiebreaker there. Okay, so let's check out our team info screen. John Red, he's out for a few more weeks. He'll be back by the end of the season. Gates, Horton, Peterson, not a whole lot has changed there. Same on the other side with Walker, Nichols, but now we got Gunn with three interceptions. Maybe he'll hold on to that spot. Let's go check out Clemson's team info screen. They got a free safety out today. Looks like they upset Georgia Tech last game. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that at the end of the last video. Looks like they got a quarterback putting up okay numbers. Uh, running the ball, not a whole lot to be desired there. But looks like they got a wide receiver hanging up almost 100 yards per game. Looks like they got one defensive player with 66 tackles already through just two-thirds of the season. That's quite impressive. Before we head back into the video, I just wanted to point out a few things from my store. First off, everything in the store is 20% off if you buy four or more items. That's an incredible deal that several people have already taken advantage of. Now, my latest book is out, the Flexible Shoot Playbook for NCAA Football 06. It's essentially the offense I ran in my Hawaii Dynasty the last few seasons of it where I broke just a ton of records and I had a whole lot of fun doing it. I also have my memory cards where I have over 20 named roster files for every single NCAA football game for the PlayStation 2. And last but not least, I have all of my books. West Coast Offense, The Power Shoot, The Owl Raid Offense, The Big Book of Tight End Plays, You Got the Eye Option Offense, and so on and so forth. So make sure you check that out. I will have a link in the top right and in the description below. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have a pretty day for some football. Hi everybody, Brad Nessler along with my partner. I assume we're gonna see a packed house. We may, we may not. It just yeah, it's gonna look like it's a packed house. Always fun to play in this stadium. Kinda cold, but there's no harsh wind, so the weather is actually perfect. Death Valley. And here come the Clemson Tigers, having as much of an average season as you can ask for. And here come the number one team in the country, the Duke Blue Devils. Going to highlight Big Joe Horton, leading the nation in yards and in touchdowns, it appears. That's pretty good. We'll continue to do that. I want to add on to those stats. And they're picking us the win. All right, let's check out. Go to the coin toss. Uh, we won it. I want the ball to start a second half. Let's check out their roster, see what we are dealing with. Starting quarterback, Colin Harper, pocket passer. Hopefully he'll stay healthy all day. I'd rather go up against him than a Tribble Reese, which is a great name, by the way. But, um, yes, a pocket passer will blitz him when we can. Impact running back. So they don't run the ball really well, yet they got an impact running back. So I don't know if that means they're going to run the ball a ton. We'll see. But it looks like he's pretty talented, a 90 overall, 92 speed. Uh, fullback, not bad. He's a blocker. Then he got an impact wide receiver. So both their impact guys are exactly the same overall at 90. So they may be balanced. I'm not sure how that's going to play out. But they got some okay talent behind him at wide receiver. You look at their tight ends, two blocking tight ends. So I'm not too worried about these two guys making plays. Uh, look at the offensive line, 87, 68, a true freshman, 86, 78, and 76. Not a whole lot to be desired on the offensive line. You look at their defense, they run a 4-3, 85 and 70 on the end, so that's a big drop off on that edge. You look at the defensive tackles, 82, 82, 78. So their front four is nothing special. You look at their linebackers, a true freshman at 70, then you got an 89 impact player at middle linebacker, then you got 85 at right outside linebacker. I think this is the kid that's putting up a ton of tackles, if I'm not mistaken. So two out of their three spots are pretty good. 
Corner, 80, then 78 and 76. So a bit of a drop off there. Free safety, their top guy's out, and they have nothing behind him. Maybe we could take advantage of this. I'll try not to forget that. And a pretty good strong safety, 84 overall with 86 speed. Uh, kicker, 78, not bad for a sophomore. Then a punter at 88, true sophomore. That's really good. And he is humongous at 6'5", 229 pounds. All right. Uh, yes, before we get into anything else, I'm only going to mention this once for now until the rest of time. I did in the last video. We uh, increased all the CPU sliders on offense and on defense to 99. Okay, you can go back to the previous video and you can uh, watch me talk a little bit about why I made that change. All right, let's get this show on the road. Looks like they got both impact players back there. So I'm going to kick this down the middle. And we're off and running. Good job and whoever done the end zone. Uh-oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. Whew, I think I saved a touchdown there. I slowed him down. So that's a good stop. Uh, yes, good end zones, whoever created those. Uh, let's do a zone blitz out of the gate. I think the midfield logo is different as well. I'll do something like this. I want to pass it. Sack. All right, well, that was a good call. I blitz off the opposite side, off the weak side, and he came right on through. Quarterback didn't get the ball off quick enough. So that was pass first. Let's go. Let's go quarters out of nickel. We got the top defense in the country, supposedly. Of course, that's a little bit inflated. We need to get them in a third and long situation. Oh, wow. Wow. What a play. First down. He had all day to throw. It helps. Nobody on the front four could get to him. Let's go nickel man. So that's two passes out of the gate. We'll do something like this. Run. No play action. Went to the wrong. That's okay. McCoy made a good play. They picked up, what, three yards? Ooh, let's take another chance with the zone blitz. We'll stay in the 4-3. Going P.A. Reed. Intercept that. Or not. Wow. Okay. Good job there, safety. Gallagher. He just stood there. I guess I should have took him over. I don't know. That was disappointing nonetheless. He just, just bother, didn't bother. All right. Well, that's a good start for Clemson. Biggest thing is front four didn't do a real good job of getting to the quarterback much on that drive. I'm excited for the new slider change. Whether that's going to be a huge impact or not, I don't know. I think it'll help a little bit. But we should get a little bit more tougher games. All right, we got to get past that. I'm going to just take a knee on that one. I need to... We'll do that. That's the one sub package I always forget to call or use. All right, let's go to Horton out of the gate. They're going zone 4-3. We're going to run a toss. We're going to leave every bit of that as is. Didn't get the first. It is second and one. Let's go RB deep. We're going man 5-2. We're going to have ball do something like this. Please go cover zero. That would be awesome. Nope, we're going to go cover one. Uh-oh. He may be going. He dove for it. Great play by Riley. So that was on the corner. I think he tried to go for a swat and fail. We'll take that. It is first and ten. Let's run the ball again with Horton. We're going man dime. Ooh, let's go. We got several options here. Let's go to the right. Get a first down. He's still going. Wow. I kind of I, I quit on that play there. Good block by 
couple of tight ends. Another block. Gay had two good blocks there. So at this point, I'm just tapping the speed button, you know, just trying to break a tackle. And I thought he was tackled right there. I thought he was down. Nope, he's still going. So good play by Horton. Let's, uh, we're in the middle of the field. Let's go to Pero. Let's just keep this simple and let's just run the ball. I'm not worried about the clock or anything at the moment. Let's just go ahead and do something like this and let's get our six points. So that was a pretty easy drive. Everything went pretty well there. So what we're going to do is kick an extra point. Try not to do anything stupid on defense. We need to get better penetration, better pressure on the quarterback, do a little bit better on the back end. I thought Gallagher was so wide open to get an interception on that last drive. I thought he was guaranteed to get it. But no, he just kind of stood there, which it can happen in this game. Awareness goes a long way there. If you had a choice, well, if I had a choice of where I would want impact players on defense, I would want at least one of them at safety, one of the two spots. It makes all the difference in the world. And since I play free safety all the time, I probably would want somebody at strong. Uh-oh. Somebody get a stop. Coming back. I think it's going to be a clipping. I hope it is. It said half the distance and it's still the third. Okay, that's that was really weird. All right, anyway. Let's go quarters. So far, they're just throwing the ball a lot at the moment. Let's see if they continue to do that. That first drive was nothing but passing. Nope, more play action out here. Ooh, that should have been picked by McCoy. Man, we could have used that. That's okay. Good stop. Second and ten. Let's go quarters. Looks like they're going four wide. Do something like this, perhaps. Play action. Wide open over there. First down. Couldn't get over there in time. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. Oh, we can go back to a zone blitz again. So their passing game is looking pretty good at the moment. We'll do something like this. Please go play action. Go play action. Get him. Oh, man, he messed up on it. That's okay. We're going to get a bad throw. Our blitzing linebacker on the outside right there on the right. He bit on the halfback. Ah. So let's go. Second and ten. Let's go quarters. I'm trying to think of just trying to find a way to keep everything in front of us. Make good decisions. Play action. Wow, just another good crossing route. I think he got the first. First and ten, just like that. So somebody up front needs to make a play. Somebody needs to get around. I don't like to bring extra blitzers if I don't have to. Wow, more passing. It's a good open field tackle by Walker. Let's do another zone blitz. Anything. We need to get them in a third and long. Looks like we're going to have to flip this. I'm going to leave it as this. That linebacker is supposed to come through the defensive end and tackle. Halfback direct. Uh, I'm just glad he didn't get past me, <laughs> to be honest. I thought that was going to be just an absolute nightmare of a play. So that's their first run, and they went halfback direct. So they already have 100 yards on the game. So our defense needs to figure out something. Over the middle is open. Nope. That guy is open over there. Just our front four. They're just struggling. And our best defensive end just got hurt. Uh, I'm going to try another zone blitz because the front four can't do it by themselves today, apparently. We'll do something like this. Halfback draw. That's a good call. Pick up five. With a takedown. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. I'm going to do another zone blitz. Might as well. It's second down and four to go. This is the ninth play. Of the I mean, this quarterback's picking us apart at the moment. Speed option. That's a good call. First down. Nice running on the 
Uh, we can try. Let's go man for a little bit. So Nichols is out for the rest of the day. Well, that does not help things. So we lost our best defensive end. Come out the shotgun. Harper drops back, steps up, looks. Good hit. Good play by Walker. So it's second and ten. I'm gonna take one more chance at a zone blitz. Man, if we can get him in a third and long, that would be killer. Please go play action. Don't run it. I'm going to run it. Counter. Good hit. Fumble it. Oh, he didn't fumble it. That's okay. So it's third and something. Third and goal, I guess. Third and 11. Oh, we'll go cloud, I guess. We'll drop seven. It's just up to somebody up front to make a play. That quarterback can't stand back there all day and just do whatever he wants. Bad throw. Somebody must have put some pressure on him finally. So we're going to force the field goal. Good deal. So what we may have to do is start running clock. I mean, I, I'm not worried about that yet. But their offense is putting a number on us so far. Right down the middle. Especially with our best edge rusher out for the rest of the day. Is ready to kick it away. One thing I need to make sure, let's go to in-game strategy. And let's go to depth chart. And let's go right here. I just want to make sure everybody... Yes, I think I'm in a good spot here for that. I just want to make sure everybody's good there because... A lot of guys get uh, drained energy-wise at that position. So make sure my depth is pretty good. Right in the middle of the field. Let's try deep outs. We're going man. I wonder who can hear what. That's the interesting part. I wonder. Oh, I would love to go to Peterson. He can't hear that. We can try it again. He can't hear that. That's still a decent cover zero beater, which is what we're going to do. Now, just tough throw. I couldn't get around the guy. Second and ten. How about we? Let's go direct. They went direct so we can do the same thing. Just don't shift to the left. That right nickel's blitzing. We can do something like this. Let's see. Good get a block right there, Riley. Good job. Good play by Horton. We are on the left hash. Let's continue with the passing game. Let's go. Halfback angle. We're going zone. We'll keep this one pretty simple. Get a few yards to Riley, not a whole lot. I'm going to go back to Horton. Let's do a toss with him again. Zone 4 3 this time. Ooh, I guess we'll go to the right. Didn't get all the yards we needed, but that's okay. 18. Let's go. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to go halfback out. We're going man. I want to keep this. Let's see if Riley can make this play. High snap. Good catch. Not the best throw, but we got the first. That should be the end of the first quarter. We got three seconds left. We'll just call a play. And we're down a field goal. Give it up for Clemson. They've put up their yards so far. Now, they've had more chances than we have, which helps. Uh, let's, uh, no, let's let's go back to Horton. Let's go slam. Zone. Well, they're doing, let's go to the left. Good defense. Came right on through. Uh, we are on. Uh, let's try. Second and nine. Let's do tight end delay. Man, four, three. I really want Horton to make a play here. Let's see if he can do that. There we go. He caught it. Last time, it did not go so well against Wake Forest. It just he <laughs> bounced off his helmet. 
So we're on the 22. What can we do from here? Let's think. We can go back to Perro to his signature play, the toss. Let's do something like this. No hard shift. We got to do that quickly. And it looks like Perro's going to get a second touchdown of the day. So it's working pretty well. And now we got our first lead of the day. It's just the way the game is set up so far is for Perro to get a couple touchdowns. We'll try to make sure Horton gets at least one today. But they're having a hard time stopping that play, so we'll definitely go back to it. So now we got to figure out what to do on defense. I like to force a punt every once in a while. That'd be great. Get him in the third and long and try our best. And they don't have a really good offensive line either, so maybe the, some of the slider stuff I changed helped a little bit for the CPU, just in terms of pass protection and such. Somebody get a stop. Good play. So they are, if you go back and look at the stats, they are throwing the ball a lot more than they are running it. I'm assuming they're going to stick with that. I'm going to try another zone blitz. Thankfully, they haven't destroyed us by calling this. Halfback draw. Good play call. Pick up five. Pick up six yards there. Let's go quarters. Second and four. Ball on the 30. Parker is back in the gun. It's like we're going gun wide traps. Last time I think they caught something from here. It was half back direct. They're going to pass it screen. Uh oh, he's got some room. He's gone. Ooh, that could have been a disaster. He had all day to throw, too. Eight of 12. Let's go man at a nickel. Intercept that. Oh, we got to get those. Come on, McCoy. You've had two chances for interceptions. That was pick six right there. Man. You're our best linebacker. Make a play. A good play, by the way. I mean, good job, but interception would be better. Play action. Ooh. I thought we was going to pick that one off. So it's third and long. Can we get a stop? Let's go, Cloud. Somebody on the front four, make a play. Get around one of those tackles or guards. I've got the middle of the field. Dang it, he's gone. I swear, just awful. He had all day to throw. He had no, I mean, look at all that protection. Nobody can make a play. Got kind of close, but he just kudos to the quarterback. That was my fault. I should have picked up that post. I just stood back there. And just like that, they're back at it again. Fixing the score. Looks like we're going to have a high-scoring game today. Ah, oh, terrible play. Terrible play. Man. They're just, again, maybe it's the sliders, which is a good thing. They're playing better. And they're going, let's just go goal line. They're going to score anyways unless we get lucky. We're getting unlucky on the turnover front. We've had two chances for interceptions, and they just haven't gone our way. Touchdown. Too easy. And just like that, they got the lead. I really don't want to lose today. So we got to think about running clock at this point. If we can't stop them, it looks like we're just not going to be able to stop them today unless we something needs to happen good on defense going forward. It just, it just hasn't happened yet. I don't know why. Maybe we can figure that out. We should have carried a couple of those turnovers from the Wake Forest game over to this one. Another right down the middle of the field. We're not going to take that one. Let's go. Slam. Now I'm thinking about running clock, to be honest, because it looks like our defense can't stop anything. So I feel like that's what I have to do. So let's just start thinking about that. 
Let's see if he can go. Oh, here we go. Let's go, son. Keep going. Great play by Horton. He's putting on a show at the moment. Second down. Let's give him a bit of a break for now. Let's go slam with Miranda this time. This is his first carry of the day. They're doing that. I guess that linebacker on the right is defending us. Nothing there. Good defense. Second and nine. Let's go half back out. We're going zone. I call this so Horton or Riley could make the play. So this is going to go to Horton. I'm going to run clock. I think I got to at this point. I don't know what else to do to shut that offense down. Hopefully we can make a good throw here. This is going to be L1. Let's go ahead and snap it. Eh, it was okay throw. Third and five. Uh, let's... This is... Mm, <laughs> I'm going to go back to direct. We're going man nickel, though. This is interesting. Who's going to be on that slot receiver? Oh, good. That guy. We'll go back to the left again. Clock has stopped. We'll go back over here. Get a block right there. Good block. Good job by Horton. Two and a half minutes to go. Let's stay here. Go curls. We're going zone dime. I wonder if Marshall can hear this. He can't hear that. Clock has stopped. Let's just go ahead. Terrible throw. Just get whatever yards you can, I guess. Not much there. Second and ten. Let's go back to our home run threat with Pero. This time we're going man nickel. The clock has stopped again. Great block by Ball. Is that enough? It may be just to get the first. First and ten. Let's go back to slam with Horton. Man 4-3. The clock is still stopped. Got to keep going out of bounds. Shifting that way. Let's go to the left. Ah. We got a few yards. That's okay. Second and seven. Let's do a toss with Horton. We're going zone 4-3. Just depends on which... Uh, let's go to the left. I don't know if this will work or not. We're going to do something like this. Get an extra blocker. Go ahead and snap it. Ooh, man. Wow. We're going to get something out of it. Look at this. What a stud. Oh, my gosh. What a play. Just a weird play all around. Uh, good job by that Clemson linebacker right there. But I had Gates get the block for me. And at this point, here comes the other linebacker. Broke that tackle. Just Horn's a stud. We need him to be a stud today the way things are going. I probably didn't need the juke right there. And we're going to get end up getting a touchdown. Just a wild play. Awesome look right there. Okay. We're up again. But we got to get back on defense. And right now we're struggling there. And they got a lot of time left to go right down the field and score. And they're more than capable of doing that. On the extra point. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's Maybe we'll get lucky here. Maybe we can just get a straight up stop and get the ball back. Maybe score again. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Should be right down the middle or fairly close, but I'm sure somebody's going to return this. Kelly has it at the five. He broke his ankle. Good hit. All right. Let's go quarters. At this point, I'm just kind of grabbing at things in terms of what the call. Somebody in that front four needs to do something. Ooh, see, that's another missed opportunity. I mean, great play by Thornton, who's having a really good game so far. We're just struggling there. That's like three interceptions we could have had at the moment. That's okay. It's, it's still a stop. Let's call quarters again. Let's see if they look the wideouts way. He is in the zone. 
Do something like this. Overshot it. Good deal. Third and ten. Man, can we get a stop? Last time it was my fault. I didn't cover the post well enough. I've got the middle of the field again. They're going gun trips. Let me think of what they may call. Oh, out of bounds. Okay, this is a gift. This is our chance to get the ball back. Let's chew up the rest of this clock, score another touchdown right before half, and we're going to get the ball started in the third quarter. That's the ideal scenario. Let's see if we can pull it off. Can Peterson do something here? Eh, I'm going to fair catch that. I don't see a whole lot of room to work with. Left hash. We got to get the outside and quick. Either going zone or going down. So this may be going to Peterson. Marcellin can't hear that, so I'm just going to play this one safe. Probably need to get down the field a bit more anyways. Let's just go ahead. Good play by Peterson. Not bad. Uh, we need to get down the field a little bit, though. I have something on my mind. Let's go halfback streak. We're going zone. Let's hurry this up if we can. Not a big fan of that shift. Not feeling a whole lot of heat, kind of, sort of. Good throw. Good throw to Marcellin. Let's go ahead and call a timeout. We didn't get out of bounds. Big play right there. So we are on the right hash. Let's go. We need to get to the outside. Let's stay here. Let's get our tight end in there. In this one right there. Yes. I think Parker can do a little bit better job than Marcel, and although Marcel did a good job on that play. Looks like they're going man. They never go cover zero, so let's just go over here. That's a bad throw. Oh, what a catch by Riley. Woo, that was, that was rough. Okay, we got lucky there. All right, P.A. Reed. We're going zone dime. I'm going to bounce this over to Horton. Do something like this. Throws it out there. Complete. I didn't get out of bounds, did I? <laughs> I didn't get out of bounds. Good job, Al. Let's go tight end delay. Zone. But it's second down. Let's do something like this. I'm wasting some time, but I got to hurry up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Intercepted. Oh, he caught it. Oh, that was scary. My goodness. Go back and look at this. Good job by the corner or by this linebacker. They play this one perfectly. I should not have thrown it there. That should have been an interception. It bounced off of him. So both defenses are really struggling to get interceptions today. He got out of bounds, though, didn't he? I think he did. Now I still got two timeouts with 27 seconds to go. So I got plenty of time to do whatever I feel like I need to do here. I'm going to go ahead and do something like this. All right, good play. Let's go ahead and call a timeout. I probably should have passed there. That's okay. Well, let's uh, second and ten. Halfback corner. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to throw that one away. I did not like any of that whatsoever. Third and ten. That was all kinds of bad. They went cover three. Good job. Let's go deep bounce. They're going man. We're going to go back to Riley. Um, please go cover one at least. They're going cover one. Good catch, but we didn't get the first. Fourth and inches. And I am at a bad angle. So what I'm going to do, three, two, let's go ahead and call the timeout. Two seconds. Let's go ahead and kick the field goal. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Thankfully, we're not too far from the field goal post to mess this up too badly, but anything's possible. Let's go over here. Missed it. I missed it. I missed it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's terrible, Al. Oh, I just butchered it. Oh, my gosh. We got to get over it. All right, let's go look at stats and scores. We're up four. It's a wild and crazy game. Both offenses are playing really well. Our passing game is good. Our running game is good. We got the one stop, but we get, didn't get anything out of it. Just unfortunate. 
Not a whole lot of, of anything of that speaks to me. Let's go to individual stance. Gage, 12 of 14. He's playing really well. Our running attack. Horton, 114 yards, one touchdown. Perro's got a couple touchdowns. Receiving, Riley is having a field day. Uh, 78 yards, but we don't have anybody with any receiving touchdowns yet. You look at defensively, McCoy's leading in tackles, also in tackles for loss along with Thornton. We got one sack and no interceptions. We should have like three sitting there, though. All right, let's get back to the third quarter. Let's try to redeem ourselves after that last attempt. Man, that was just a bad kick on my part. I should have, what I probably should have done was force myself into the middle of the field to kick an easier field goal, but that's just my fault. All right, middle of the field again. Let's go. Let's go back to our home run threat out of the gate. I bet they're not expecting this. They're probably thinking Horton. No, we're going to go to our freshman. We're going to let him go to daylight. Can he get there? Big play to Horton. Good play. First down. He's killing it. That toss play is on fire today. Now, he really struggled with it. Was it the last game or the game before? We couldn't get much out of it. It just happens from game to game. Good run. What can we do here? Let's think. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, let's go. Slam with Horton. Zone fourth. Zone nickel. I'm going to go to the left. Get solid seven yards. Not bad. Let's go. Second and three. Halfback angle. We're going man. We're going to go to somebody on the right. Don't double team Myrick. Looks like they're going. Okay. Cover one. Look at that throw. Good throw to Myrick. Gates is feeling it at the moment. First and ten. I am going to. Let's do off tackle with Horton. I don't call this too often. Let's see if we can pull this off. I'm not worried about the clock of Mona. I think we're in a good groove in terms of play call. Let's just keep doing it. Great run there. Where are we? We're on the seven. Let's just run it with Horton. Let's not do anything stupid. Let's just get a touchdown. I like the shift. I think they're going man. Do something like this. Six points. Good blocking all around. All right, just like that, we got a 10-point lead. Let's get an extra point. Good blocking. Sometimes it helps if the tight end gets pushed back so far. There's a gaping hole there. What a game. Now, you know what's going to happen. Clemson's gonna, probably going to come right back, go down the field. I hope that doesn't happen. I want to get another stop. And he tacks on the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac Drive summary. I didn't worry about clock. I think our offense just tends to work a little bit smoother if I just run my plays. Don't worry about chewing up clock, although it probably was a good idea to do that. But we got the touchdown, so I'm okay with it. That's a good kick. He should kneel it. Yes. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next Oh, out of the gate. Uh, let's, it's on my mind. Let's go zone blitz. They'll take over at the 20. We're going to do something like this. Clemson comes to the a little line worry. Line. Just, I'd go play action. Nope. Dropping out of the gate. Get him. Sack. Good deal, Thornton. Good deal. He's having a really good game. He came on through clean. That's what we need to get our sacks today. The front four is just struggling. And this, uh, let's just go quarters. Yeah, at this point, let's just keep it safe. Let's get him in a bad third and long. We'll do something like this, perhaps. I'm assuming they're going to throw it, and they are. Oh, see, that's another missed opportunity. McCoy. That's like three interceptions he could have had today. Uh, we would be destroying this team if we would get any interceptions. I guess we used them all up in the last game. Third and 17. We're going to go cloud. Here's where we can put our foot down their, on their throat. Put them out of their misery. We can get a stop, get the ball back, and score again. That should be an easy stop. 
He can at least hit somebody. That's good. So it's fourth down. Here we go. Let's get the ball back. Let's go right down the field, score another touchdown, and make him pay for not being able to convert on these last couple of drives. Shank it to the right. <laughs> not bad. This could be doable. Somebody get a block on that dude right there. Get a block on that dude right there. Can you get around him? Get around him. Get around him. Good play, Peterson. I don't think Peterson's got to touch the ball much today, except for maybe a couple throws. We are on the left hash. What can we call? Let's start. I got an idea. Let's go quick slants. They're going zone. I was hoping they'd go man, but that's okay. This is going to go to Parker or Riley. We're going to get this one off quick. My left side of the line got destroyed. My left tackle did at least. I had to keep backing up. But we got a few yards to our best wide receiver. Only three yards there on the throw. Second and seven. Let's go back to a basic run. I need to get some passing plays going off of this formation, too. I just forget. Now, I think they're going... Yes, they're going zone. Let's go... I'm going to go back to the left. That was a bad call. He blitz. Good job. So, where are we? Third and seven. Cutting cross. They're going man. Huh. Ooh, they're going cover zero. Oh, they're going cover zero. So what we're going to do, if he can't hear that, we're going to bring him over instead. Go to Riley. Get a six points, son. He ain't going to get it. He ain't going to get it. Ah, oh, dang it. I couldn't get around the guy. Oh, on the 40. Hmm. Let me do one thing. I'm going to go. We're going to try something. We're going to go curls. They're going man nickel. This is what I wanted. I'm taking a chance. This and they're going cover zero to boot. We're gonna do something like this. Get a first down. <laughs> now, if they was gonna go zone, I probably would have called a timeout and punted it. But I wanted to take a chance and see if we would have a good advantage here, and we did. They went man. They actually played really good defense, but we was able to get around that guy to get the first down. Oh, play of the game right there, to be honest. All right, right hash. I'm trying to think what we can call. Oh, let's go. Arrows. I, it's on my mind. Let's call arrows. Where's it at? Ace arrow. I never called this play. And they're going man. This could be really dumb. I hope I'm doing this correctly. I don't think our freshman can hear this play. He can't hear that. That's not a bit. Oh, I didn't really need that. Okay, we're going to go to some on the left side. This ain't going to work. We're going to throw that one away. Good play call. They went cover one. Gaines is hurt? Oh, you got to be kidding. Let's go back and look at this. He must have got hit. Either way, this is our cover zero beater. He's going out. He's doing a swing ground or a, a wheel. I was going to go to Riley. The problem is this guy came in and done like a spy look. And I was not going to, that was going to get picked off. So that pretty, went, pretty much went all of my cover or my man beaters. I mean, I guess I could have went to the wheel. But I think the safety would have picked that off. So what happened to Gates? Let's go back. Did he just get hit? If I can get my cursor on him. There we go. Oh, he did. Please let that not be a serious injury. So our backup. It's second and ten. Let's look at something. Our backup is a pocket passer. Okay. Just want to make sure of that. Look, Let's go to Paro. Looks like Horton is a little bit gassed. So it's second and ten. Let's run the ball. Let's protect our freshman quarterback here. New quarterback. Get a block right. Oh, he didn't get it. That's okay. Get around. Get around. First down. Just enough. Let's go. Let's do dive with Horton. Gates is out for the rest of the game. All right. So what we're going to do... We're going to run a bunch of clock. I think that's a wise decision. We're going to try to survive this game as best we can. Our quarterback is out. Our top edge rusher is out. Let's go ahead and snap this one. Not a whole lot there. He's still feeling okay. Let's do a toss with Horton. Zone 4-3. I think our offensive line has played pretty well today. 
We're going to go to the left, and I want to bring somebody over. But I kind of like the way they're shifted. I don't want anybody else moved over there. So I think I'm going to leave it as is. We're going to go to Horton. Let's see what yards we can pick up. Let's go ahead and snap it. Couldn't get it off. I tried. I just couldn't get it off in time. Perfect defense. So what is it? It is third and eight. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's go deep outs. We're going man. Let's see if our freshman can make this throw. This may be a lot putting on this kid. But we got to figure out something. I don't want to just kick a field goal because I don't trust my field goal kicking. <laughs> I want to get a first down. I don't want to take a knee on this one and kick it. Go ahead and snap it. They're going to cover one. Intercepted. Ah, just a bad throw. Good defense. Look what happened here. I should have ate that one. Left end came through the right end. At this point, I had to. I was going to get sacked if I was set my feet. Oh, man. So let's see how they handle this. That was just just good defense. Yeah, just good pressure all around. All right, let's just get back on defense. We're still okay. We're still up 11. But, man, those are two missed opportunities. We've had two drives where we couldn't get anything out of them. Oh, good catch. Get, what, a four yards out of that one? So they execute, move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, complete those short passes is the key. So with Gates out, I still want Jones as my quarterback for the situation. Halfback direct. Good tackle, open field by Walker. Man, that could have been really bad. And that is the end of the third quarter. We're up 11. I mean, we got the touchdown. They didn't get anything out of it. They're going third and they're going with a big set here. Let's do this. Get everybody down. Fullback dive. Oh, I think he got it. He didn't get it. Wow, what a play by me. Oh my gosh, I came right on through and hit him. He didn't get it. Oh my gosh, look how close that was. What a play. Oh, wow, that may be play of the game right there. Man, can you imagine if they would have kept on driving a score to touchdown? This game would be in a different area at the moment. But thankfully, we got to stop. All right, let's see if we can survive this. Let's see if Peterson can get a decent gain. Let's just get out of bounds. That's fine. So we got to keep this really simple. We're going to let Horton. We're going to let Paro pretty much handle this. I don't want to do anything too crazy. Let's just get out of Death Valley with the win. I think that's the most important thing at the moment. Don't worry about style points. Get a block right there. Go, go, go. Huge play by Horton. Him ball. Man, if we can get... I need to get him the ball later. Just a great block right there. Man, good play by ball. I'll try not to forget. We can sneak in a little fullback dive later. Good play right there. Let's... Uh, da -da -da. Let's do a toss with Miranda. I don't normally do tosses with him. He's more of a downhill guy. The clock is running. We're going to let it do so. Uh, let's just go ahead and play it safe and go to the right and see if he can just find a crease. I'm going to keep chewing that clock. Good play, Miranda. And remember one thing that this we are running the ball really well today. Almost 300 yards. First of 10. I'm going to go back to our home run threat. The pair of, this time they're going zone. We stayed in bounds too, so that was a good play all around. I'm going to leave it everything as is. We're going to go to the left. We're going to read that left cornerback and see what he does. If he caves in, we'll go to the outside. If he keeps going back, we'll cut in, that type of thing. That's one of the advantages of actually not moving an extra guy over to block on the left side. It's easier to read that corner. He's going cover two, so we'll cut up. Good play by Perro. Second and one. I'm not going to do anything crazy. Let's just run it. Keep chewing clock. Zone 4 3. When performance matters the most, the Blue Devil come out in the ace formation. Let's go. Go to the right. 
I'd love to chew up like another minute and a half on this drive alone. I know we only got 11 yards to go or 12. Let's see what happens here. Just get through. Let's get a touchdown. Ah, that should be it right there. Should. Now we got a 17 point lead. Great play by Horton. Good protection. Not protection, but good blocking all around. I don't know what Parker's doing. He had nobody to block, so he decided to do like a split zone blocking there. <laughs> Either way, big hole for 29 to get his second touchdown on the day. Or third, maybe. No, I think that may be his second. Okay, I think we've survived this one. Let's try not to get anybody else hurt. Thankfully, any injuries we've had today have been minor. They're all out today. They'll be back for the next game. Ended up being a perfect drive for us. Just get right down the field, run clock, score a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. We will kick it back off again. A really good kick. This may go in the end zone. It's going to return it. Not strong enough. Ooh, he is going to take a knee. I'm surprised. Let's go quarters. Uh, let's leave everything as is. Ooh, I forgot to do my adjustments. There we go. Over the middle, he's open. Not anymore. Intercept it. Good play. If he would have tried to intercept it and would have failed, I would have got really upset because that would have been like his fourth pick on the day. But good play nonetheless. Let's do something like this. Intercept that. Good catch. Almost got the first. It's what, third and one? Uh, let's go cloud. I, they may, I, I guess they'll probably throw it. They, I mean, they're down so much. But they may run it. Nope, they're going to throw. Good catch. Another diving catch by one of their receivers. I'm going to, uh, we're going to leave it as is. Make a play, somebody. Intercept. I thought it was going to be an interference, but thankfully he overthrew it. Second and ten. Let's go quarters. Now we got some bad players on defensive end now. Ooh, fake toss. Wasn't expecting that. Good throw. Pick up a first down. Now they're going to go hurry up. We'll just stay in quarter some more. Ah, dang it. That's a flag. They caught him off sides. Good job on the hurry up. He didn't get over in time. First and five. I'm just going to stay in course pretty much the rest of the way. Just keep everything in front of us. If it takes them another two minutes to get down the field, then so be it. Look at that, a 4-3 defense. <laughs> yep, open over there. Ow, ow. I should have let it alone. I should have let the CPU handle it, and that's my fault. So their passing game is pretty good. Thankfully, we've kept them out of the end zone enough in the second half. Intercept that. Thank you, McCoy finally got his interception. He finally got one. Wow, it took him long enough. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's so funny. He finally got an interception. He could have had five today, but he's only going to get one. That's okay, though. Oh, my gosh. All right. That should do it. Let's run out the rest of this clock and get out of here. Zone 4-3. I think what I may do... We're going to take a chance on that linebacker on the left. Nope, good call. He caved in. Sometimes he goes after the receiver, sometimes he doesn't. Second and seven. Let's give Horton a bit of a break. Let's go slam with Miranda. I'd like to get one more first down. That should do it. We'll go to the right this time. Well, this was a pretty entertaining game. I know we ended up winning by 18 or so. But Clemson gave us all they, that we could handle in the first half of the league. Second, third quarter is what really done it, man. Oh, good. I, we didn't get much out of it, but he was able to break one tackle. So it was third and eight. I'm going to 
let's just run the ball. I'm gonna go to Paro. There's no point in throwing it. The game's over with. If we don't convert, it's not that big of a deal. We are gonna go to the right. We're gonna let that clock roll some more. I need to call another pass play or two out of this formation. I just forget. That's just my fault. I normally don't like to just call one play from one formation and that's it. I want to open it up a little bit. Sometimes you just kind of forget what plays you got. And we're going to get a first down. We're going to get a first down. Perro's a stud. So if Horton leaves early for the draft after this season, looks like Perro's going to be our number one dude. Now we got another five star that we're red starting, so it's going to be him and the other guy more than likely. And Miranda, if he sticks around, We'll see what happens. That should be fun to look at in a few uh, videos down the road. Let's go to the victory formation if I can get to it. There it is. First and ten. Ball on the 30. We'll snap it one more time, and that should do it. We're going to check out some stats here shortly after. I think we ended up with well over 300 yards rushing. Thankfully, they couldn't stop that. I thought our passing game went pretty well, too. Oh, it's good to see Clemson not be as good as they are in real life. Of course, they had a just an average season last year. Old Dabo Sweeney needs to pick things up in the NIL side of things, but that's uh, another story for another day. Get it down to a few seconds. We'll get the clock out. Then we'll look at some numbers. Another win. So that's one step closer. We got three more games to go, though. 9-0. and I think we got LSU coming up. We will check that out here in a little bit as well. Let's go to stats and scores. 489 yards. Our offense played great today. Imagine what we could have done if we didn't have two missed opportunities. We had two empty drives, but that's okay. 320 yards on rushing, 169 yards of passing. A lot of that was short stuff. You know, we didn't get any deep ball going whatsoever. We had two cover zero beaters. Both of them could not convert. It just happens today. But our short game was pretty good. We were just able to get two sacks on them. That was for blitzes from linebackers, particularly from Thornton. Third down, 50%. I'll take that any day of the week. Uh, turnovers, one apiece. That court, that interception by Jones, our backup quarterback, that was more the Clemson than anything else. That was just a good play on their part. Uh, the rest of that stuff doesn't say a whole lot. Let's go to individual stats. 15 to 19, 169 yards of touchdown and interception. You look at their running, uh, Horton, it was his day. He ended up with three touchdowns, Perro with two. Maybe another play game like this can boost him up a little bit on the Heisman front. We'll check that out in the next video. Receiving, Riley had a really good day. Six receptions. Everything I threw at him, he caught. Had 81 yards, but we didn't have anybody get in the end zone through the air. It just didn't work out today. Uh, blocking, I actually had a few guys do some different things. Look at this, true freshman left tackle. I had five pancakes. Good for him. That's what happens when you run a whole lot more. Uh, defensively, McCoy landed tackles with five. Uh, Thorne had two tackles for loss, which I guess ended up being the two sacks. And we ended up finally getting an interception by McCoy. He could have had five, but he ended up with one. That's okay. All right, let's get out of here. Let's check out some top 25 scores for the week. Of course, we beat Clemson, then Bowling Green over Kent State, USC over Arizona State, Nebraska over Iowa State. Then you have Georgia Tech beating Boston College, Oregon over Tulsa, Florida State still undefeated, beating NC State. Cincinnati's having a really good season. 7-1, they beat West Virginia. Then you have Oklahoma getting beat by Texas A&M in a big-time Big 12 matchup. Texas Tech over Baylor. Tennessee still undefeated, destroying Mississippi State. UCLA over Cal. Then you have uh, LSU over Ole Miss. Then uh, Florida over Georgia. Texas over Oklahoma State. Iowa over Penn State in a big thriller, top 25 in a game in overtime. That would have been fun to watch. Then you have Oregon State over Washington State, Michigan over Northwestern, and last but not least, Miami beats Virginia Tech 49-18. to Okay, in our next game, we have LSU. This is a non-conference game. We're stuck right in the middle, more or less, of our conference schedule. They're 19th in the country, even though they're 5-4. The SEC is really loaded. they got a lot of good teams in there, and I assume that several of those losses were against some of those good teams. They're B overall a talent, so we got a little more talent than they do. I'm just looking at their stats. Everything looks kind of average. They're not special in anything, but they're not terrible at a whole lot either outside of their, like, their rush defense. Maybe we can exploit that some. All right. I'll talk to you guys later.